Okay, guys. Hello. Good evening to everyone. It's, well, it's really nice to see you once again. And first of all, can you all hear me? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you so much. So welcome once again. Uh, I know that some of you probably just arrived from, from your job, but... I know that every effort that you do, it will pay off. Okay? okay, so thank you so much once again for being here. Can you, okay, I was going to say, can you please turn it off? <laughs> All right, so, uh, well, as I was saying, it's really nice to see you once again. And, well, I'm so proud that you're still here and uh, making some efforts to still be here, okay? So that's very nice from your part. I don't know, guys, before we start this class, um, I just want to remind you that today in the morning, you receive uh, a message from one of the persons that is in charge of the platform. So I don't know if you saw the message, but it says that tomorrow we have calibration, okay? So it means that tomorrow we are going to check who is still um, like in the half of the, of the platform. So I know that some of you already completed already finished the platform. So if you already finished, that's fine. That's okay. That's excellent for you. And um, well, if you already completed, congratulations. Thank you so much for your effort. But if you haven't, please try to keep working on that, okay? Hay que trabajar en eso, chicos, to complete the platform, okay? Because if you haven't completed yet, you might have some problems at the end. Remember that today is our 11th class. So it means that we just have four more classes. Ya solo nos quedan cinco clases más and we are over. Terminamos, okay? So it's very important that it is like a requirement that you like, Pretty much in this week, casi que en esta semana es lo último que les queda para um, to complete the platform. So if you haven't finished it yet, please try to do it, guys. It is part of, of I mean, of the process that you need to follow in order to complete this module. So how was your weekend, guys? Are you tired? I imagine that some of you are tired, probably just arrived from home, from job. I mean, some of you probably had a very difficult day, a job, and it was very tiring, but I just wanna say, never give up guys and try to do your best, okay? That will pay off. So uh, with that being said, guys, I remember that last class, we had some vocabulary. Do you remember that? Do you remember? Yes. What was the vocabulary about? The clothes. Clothes, yeah, clothes vocabulary. Have you studied, guys, honestly, con honestidad, have you studied at home? Or did you study on the weekend? La verdad. Yo poco a teacher porque me tocó trabajar de noche. Oh my God. I, that's understandable. That's understandable. Ahorita estoy desvelado, pero igual no me voy a perder la clase. That's the attitude. Very nice. That's very nice of your part. I know that is difficult, but it will pay off. Vale la pena. Okay. So thank you so much for your effort. So what about the other one, guys? Have you studied, estudiado, during the weekend? Did you study the vocabulary? Honestly? No, teacher. Mm -hmm. Hi, teacher. Yes, yeah, so, so. Uh -huh. so, Elizabeth, what about you? What did you say? I'm sorry. 
Hi, teacher. Good evening. Oh, good evening. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. uh, um, I'm no, no, no pude. <laughs> you couldn't. No, no pude. Este, salí, de, fui al interior. No, no pude. Oh, no pude okay. okay. So, okay, but. Well, I hope that you guys, well, study whenever you have the time to study. If you study just a little bit, I mean, that's okay. As long as you study, that will help you out. So, as I said, we saw last class, close vocabulary. So, I'm going to ask you some questions, like in general, just to verify who remembers a little bit about it. What are the ways, the quantas formas, or which are the ways we can call, or we can say sweater? We have jumper. Very... Oh, jumper. Pullover. Jersey. 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 Pullover. Goodies. Sweet. Hoodie. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet shirt. Sweet shirt. And obviously sweater, right? Very good. So um, let me see what else. How do we say, uh, um, how do we call this? Bufanda. Does anyone remember that? Uh -huh. Is it Scarf. scarf, 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 very good. That's scarf. Okay, nice. What about how do we say uh, blusa? For the blues, girl? blues. Let me let me ask you: Is there a difference in this in the United States and in England? Cuando quiero decir overall, is there a difference or not? Yes. How do we say in the States, in American English? I don't remember. We say overall. And in a British accent, we say dungaree. So now let me ask you another question. Is there a difference in pronunciation uh, when I want to say pantalon between British English and American English, is there a difference or not? A diferencia or no? Okay, so uh, apparently Luis is the único que veo que ha estudiado because the other ones. Calladito, vea nada, any word. Are you still there, guys? Todos están ahí. Can you listen to me? O solo están callados a propósito. Trouser, trouser. How do we say that? Trouser in yeah, pants. Pants, creo que en inglés y trouser en England. Yeah, yeah, we say trouser in England or British English, and we say we say pants in American English. Very good. So, guys, today is going to be more vocabulary. That's why I was telling you last time. Try to study the vocabulary because if you do not study, you will get a lot of vocabulary that then you will have any idea of which one to study. Sí, tratemos de estudiar un poquito de lo que vamos viendo. Si no, cuando tengamos mucho vocabulario, vamos a decir, tengo mucho y ya hasta pereza nos va a dar. ¿verdad? So, um, Today, we are going to see vocabulary about colors. Today is going to be about colors. So let's start with the class. And let me share the presentation with you. As I was saying, guys, today is our 11th class. So it means that we just have more, uh, five more classes 
to complete this module. And then it will be over, okay? So um, as it says at the topic, it says colors vocabulary. So we are going to see that today. First of all, we are going to try to understand a little bit about the primary colors of light and primary colors when it comes to the main ones that we have. The main ones that we have in the colors, guys, are red, blue, and green. So when we blend them all, these three, we can have like a very different type of colors, yeah? If you combine them, you can have very different. So keep in mind that the three main ones or the primary ones that we have are red, blue, and green. So today we're going to learn a little bit more about how to say some colors, like probably some new vocabulary or some new colors that you didn't even know how to say them. Okay, but today we are going to learn. Them. I know that there's some colors that you might already know them. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it counts, sir. It counts. Um, okay, as I was saying, um, sometimes when we're trying to express or to speak, when estamos tratando de hablar, sometimes we do not know how to say some colors. No sabemos cómo decir algunos colores. Ven, nos quedamos en blanco. So, today we're going to learn probably some new colors, algunos colores nuevos, that we did not even know in Spanish. Well, honestly, some of them, I don't even know which is the color, even in Spanish, my mind, it doesn't like connect with that color at all, but we are going to learn that. So let's move on with this. And uh, let's see, let me try to check what's going on. <clears throat> okay, cool. all right. So first of all, let me give you a brief introduction about some differences that we have between British English, once again, and American English. Why is this so important for you to know, guys? Why is so important? Porque es muy importante. Because you know that English is like a worldwide language. Es un lenguaje mundial. Ahora lo podemos decir así. Okay, so it's very important that you know the differences because what happened if you, if you like, if someone comes to El Salvador and because he or she speaks English, tú piensas que eh, te está hablando inglés americano o, eh, or ac British accent, but there's a lot of countries that which speaks English. Even here in Central America, ahí no masito, vea, en, en Belize, they speak English. There's no Spanish over there. Over there, everyone speaks English. See, ahí no más en Belize, they speak English. And they do not speak uh, American English. They speak England. England, the British accent. So why is very important that you know the, the two differences? Because if you do not know how to pronounce the British accent, they will also understand you if you speak American English. So that's why these two differences are very important that you know them. So let me see, uh, can I have a volunteer to help me reading the first two lines? Yes, yeah. teacher. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Hey, okay. Uh, so, would you give her the place, Luis? No, que lo diga la amiga. Okay, Nidia, help me reading the first two lines. The first two lines. Okay, um, you said box word means the same thing, and it is spelling depends on the country where the word is writing. Mm -hmm. Line number two. The word is the word color is used in United States. Okay, leave it there. 
So thank you so much, Nidia. Okay. As it says over there, its spelling depends on the country where the word is written. Su deletreo depende del país donde se ha escrito. Example, the word color, C-O-L-O-R, we use it in the United States. Now, let's find out the difference that we have in, the, in England. Luis, help me read in the next two lines. Okay, teacher. The word colors is used in the rest of the English speaking countries. Mm -hmm. England, Australia, Nueva Zelanda, si no me equivoco. New Zealand, yes, etc. Mm -hmm. The names of the more common colors in English appear in the chart below. Below, okay. So as it says over there, the second word, la segunda palabra que lleva a letter U, is going to be used in the rest of the English speaking countries. What does that mean? Que el resto de los demás países, exceptuando United States, pero que todos hablan inglés, the way they will write it, la forma en que lo van a escribir es C-O-L-O-U-R. Yes? Color. Even the pronunciation changes a little bit. Color, 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 color. Just a little bit of a uh, difference in pronunciation. And we have some, some countries over there, such as England, Australia, New Zealand, etc. Okay. And uh, um, one of the most important questions, la pregunta que siempre vamos a hacer para saber the color is what color is it? What color is it? ¿Qué color es eso? Yes, what color is it? Or I can say, what color is that? What color is this? What color is this? What's color, what color are those? Yes, we already know that. Ya sabemos esos, right? The plurals and the singular. So we can change for that. But the question, the main question that we are going to ask to someone when we are in a conversation in that we need to know the color is, what color is it? Que color es? Okay, what color is it? Do not forget that. So let's move on to the uh, to the next, Juan Fernando. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, solo una pregunta. Cuando estamos preguntando como que color son esos, sería como mm -hmm. what colors are, eh, le agregaríamos la S uh, como el adjetivo colores? No. O, no. No. No, we just we just say what color are those, and because that is already plural, you do not have to say what colors are those. It's like already understandable when you are using the plural, but it's very important that you know that difference. Okay. Okay, great. So let's move on uh, to the next one, and we have another difference guys but this one is going to be with a specific color uh any other volunteer yeah teresita is that you sí. okay go ahead help me reading the first two lines okay the same as with the difference between color and color mm -hmm. It depends it on depends. the country. It depends on the country. Mm -hmm. The word gray is used in unit, unit state. United States. Okay, leave it there. Let me see. Uh, Elizabeth, can you help me reading the, the last line, please? Uh, I understand. Yes. yes, that one. Uh, the word gray mm -hmm. is used in the rest of the English span spanking speaking Spanish. Uh, speaking perdón. countries England, 
Aus, Australia, mm -hmm. and Nueva Zelanda, etc. Okay, very good. So as we can see, guys, there's not a big difference. I mean, it's just one letter that makes the difference. But this one is not like it's not a big difference. There's not even a difference when it comes to the pronunciation because the pronunciation is still the same, even though aunque it changes for one letter. So as you can see in the United States, we use the word gray, G, R, A, Y, gray with the letter A. And the difference uh, of the other English speaking countries is that instead of saying or writing the letter A, we use the letter E. That's the only difference. But the pronunciation still the same, gray, gray. But it's important guys that you know, like spelling, okay? It's very important. So um, below this part over here, we have like some little formulas or some little um, structures that you need to know when you want to use the colors. For example, it says, there are three ways that you can use a color in a sentence to describe something. Number one, always, siempre el verbo to be no sigue, verdad? Por todos lados, ¿sí? Verb to be plus the color. And I can say, my car is blue. ¿Qué es el, esa palabra my? ¿Qué es? Mío. 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 My a possessive adjective. Am I possessive. correct? Estoy en lo correcto? Possessive adjective? Yes. Okay. Very good. So as you can see, we have the possessive adjective that it will be the subject. And then we have the verb B. My car is blue. Mi carro es azul. Or we have a number two that it can be el color. Then the blue car is mine. So yo estoy diciendo casi la misma cosa que la de arriba. My car is blue. The blue car is mine. Con la diferencia de que cambio el orden y al cambiar el orden ya no utilizo un adjetivo posesivo sino que un possessive pronoun. Pero eso we are sure. going to see it later on. Yes, sir. Este, teacher, uh, yes. I have a question. Go ahead. Cuando se, usa, cuando se usa el mind, mm -hmm. es como para dar respuesta, ¿verdad? Digamos, aquel, ahí como dice, the blue car is mine. El, el carro, carro azul, azul es mío. Es mío. Mm -hmm. Es como una respuesta, ¿va? We can say that that's an answer. Yeah. Es una afirmación. Uh -huh, uh, yeah, like like double like double saying the same thing like that's your that belongs to you que te pertenece. Obviously, por el momento no sabemos en sí cómo utilizarlo porque aún no, no hemos visto los possessive pronoun. But that's a good question. The next okay. module, en el próximo módulo, we are going to see that. Okay. So, okay. but that's nice. Okay. So as you can see here, we have a third one, una tercera. A third Disculpe, one that is, yes. Eh, la, la última palabra de la número dos significa lo mismo, mío. Mío, sí. Si yo, si yo digo, my, my car is blue, the blue car is mine. Sí, mi carro es azul, el carro azul es mío. The same thing, but with different order. El orden, el orden cambia. So that's why, gramaticalmente, tenemos que cambiar. Eh, Un adjetivo posesivo por un pronombre posesivo. But you are going to understand. Eso lo vamos a entender completamente later on. Después. Okay. So now we're going step by step. Nos vamos yendo de poquito a poquito. Okay. But that's a very good question. So the last one, number three, we got color is the noun. So let me ask you, um, do you consider guys... According to what we know, consideran ustedes que colors can be adjectives? Can color be adjectives? 
Yes. They can or they cannot? No. No, they can. cannot. Okay, let me see. Let me see the, the, the answers. If you think that your answer is yes, and the adjectives can, uh, colors can act as an adjective, please type yes on the chat. And if you think that that's no, text no. Do it right now. Okay, Maricela, Teresita, great, already got them. ¿Qué está preguntando? That if you think, si piensas, que colors can act as adjectives, que pueden actuar como adjetivo. So I got Nidia, Juan Fernando, Catherine. Sí, sí pueden actuar como posesivo. Mm -hmm. What about the other ones? We are 15 here. Well, 14 actually. Okay, I got Elizabeth. I got Ulises, I got Catherine. Juan Fernando is saying, but the most common ones. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me tell you that, yes, in fact, de hecho, colors can act as adjectives. They can act as adjectives. For example, the, um, let me see. See, let me try to, I think that I have a, oh my God. My computer doesn't want to work today. Okay, there we go. Yes, yeah, so um, yes, colors can act as adjectives. We're going to see that later on, but that's very good. Remember that they can act as adjectives even though they are colors. Here we have some very common uh, colors like yellow, red, purple, green, brown, and black. Yes. ¿Sí? Ahora ya tenemos que saber que el color café no se dice coffee, ¿verdad? Sí, se dice brown, no coffee. Coffee es café, literalmente el café. Okay? So yellow, red, purple, green, brown, and black. Those are some of the most common ones that we have. But also, I will share with you a list with, um, with the, okay, here we have, here we have a list of weird colors, like colores probably raros para algunos, like, for example, um, I have never seen like rojo escarlata, I don't even know what that is. Honestly, not even in Spanish, but we are going to try to, uh, well, we are going to make the pronunciation because you might see, or probably in the future, eh, ustedes pueden ver estos, estas palabras or this vocabulary, and now you already, or you will know already about what they will be talking about. So we're going to start the first differences. We already know that color and color. So we already know beige. Que esto hasta en español le decimos beige, ¿verdad? Así le decimos todo. So it's kind of pretty much the pronunciation. It doesn't change that much. Beige, black, blue, brown, chestnut, fuchsia. Golden, aquí le decimos fucsia, ¿verdad? In Spanish, but that's fucsia. Golden, green, gray, gray, maroon, como el cantante, ¿verdad? Maroon, orange, I'm sorry, orange, pink, purple, red, scarlet, silver, teal, transparent, turqu turquoise, Violet in white. So uh, I know that probably trying to pronunciate them at the very first time is going to be a little bit complicated for you because it is obviously, obviously the first time you're seeing these, um, these colors. So we're going to pronounce them once again. Beige, 
black, blue, brown, chestnut, fuchsia, golden, green, gray, gray, maroon, orange, pink, purple, red, scarlet, silver, tail, transparent, turquoise, violet, and white. Okay, great. So let's try to do it. Let me see, Maricela Alejandrina. Can you please help me with a one, two, three, four, till this part, from the first one till this part. Beige, mm -hmm. black, blue, mm -hmm. brown, chestnut, fuchsia, golden. Great. Excellent. Now, let me see, uh, Juan Fernando, can you please help me from golden till red? From golden to red, okay. Uh, golden, green, gray, maroon, orange, pink, purple, red. Excellent, very good. Now, let me see, uh, Omar. Help me from red till the last one, white. Red, scarlet, silver, teal, mm -hmm. transparent. Transparent. To transparent, turquoise. Turquoise. Turquoise, violet, mm -hmm. and white. White, excellent. So these ones, I consider that these ones are not that, that weird, no son tan raras. Because for example, Scarlet, the only one that I did not know is Scarlet and Maroon. That it is actually the first time I know that that's like, that color exists. But I didn't even know that that was a color. I knew that that was a word, but I didn't even know that that was a color. So, uh, is there any questions so far with this part of the pronunciation or vocabulary or something? Transparent is a color. Even though I know it in, in my sound weird because we say transparente no es un color, right? Because transparente. But in English, it is count as a, a, as a color. Sí, yo le iba a preguntar también de qué color es ese marrón. Marrón. No marrón. Sé, nunca lo había escuchado. That, that's, why, that's why I was telling you that, por eso es que les estaba diciendo que incluso hay colores que ni nosotros en español conocemos. Granate, honestly, I have yes. never heard about it. No, but granate it says. It's not marrón, actually. El, mar, el marrón es un color como color vino bien encendido tirando a café. Oh, really? Well, good to know for me as well, because I didn't know that. Teal, yeah, I know. Teal is kind of well, like, we can try to guess that. It's como verde azulado, it says. I know that that's like, este color como que todavía uno lo puede distinguir, ¿verdad? Pero este como el maroon, que es granate. Rojo escarlata, solo se me viene en la mente algo como plateado. But I really don't know. I really don't know. So, um, please guys, try to turn your microphones off. De apagar los micrófonos. Porque no sé, se escucha por ahí como una conversation. Sí, yo sé que de qué manera tengo una entrada, vos te vas. ¿Y quién sirve de qué? Hello. Oh, okay, 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 very good. So let's move on. And well, I was going to tell you guys that for today, we're going to have the same practice that we had 
uh, last class, do you remember that we had a conversation? Today, we're going to have a conversation as well. Actually, two conversations. Two conversation in groups, because it is time that, I mean, you are starting to practice your English, okay? This is our last week of pretty much our last week of this module. So I need you to go for the next module like a little bit prepared, un poco más preparados. That's why we're going to try to practice uh, like conversations in groups and things like that. And something very important, guys, if someone of you, si alguno de ustedes sabe cómo se pronuncia alguna palabra, y alguno de sus compañeros no sabe how to say it, ayúdense, ¿sí? Remember that at the end, everyone here, todos necesitamos ayuda de algo, okay? And if you can help another person, I mean, that will help you to be a better person and like to help someone else to understand a little bit better, okay? So let's move on with that. And here we have like... Um, I'm sorry, um, here we have some more part of the vocabulary. And uh, well, I was going to tell you, iba a decirles ahorita que les iba a enviar la, eh, la presentation, pero me recuerdo que les dije lo mismo de la última y no la envié. My bad. Sí, acepto with, no la pude enviar, but I will try to do it today with this one after the class. Okay, so uh, these, part, the left, the, the right part, the left one, la que tenemos aquí en la izquierda. I needed to pay attention to this, guys, because as you can see, como puedes ver, como pueden ver todos acá, el color celeste lo podemos decir de muchas maneras. Here we have baby blue, sky blue, light blue. Son esas tres maneras las más conocidas de decir celeste. It does not mean, no significa que una es incorrecta, que una la tengo que usar en un lado, que otra la tengo que usar en otro lado. No, it means that the three of them are correct. Sometimes, algunas veces esto, eh, it can be a little bit confusing, but just keep in mind that those, the three ones are correct. The three forms are correct. So do not try no hay que tratar de, de como, y esta donde la voy a usar, y esta no. The three of them are correct. Las tres son correctas. So you can say whether light blue, sky blue, baby blue, el que se le venga más rápido a la mente. Yes, because the three of them are going to be correct. The same happens with, uh, with green, because you can say light green, or uh, lime green, that it can be like pretty much the same thing, something similar, let's say. So uh, we're going to go with the pronunciation of this part. We're going to start by this one, this chart, light blue, blue, dark blue, light green, green, dark green, coal black, jet black, pitch black, baby blue, sky blue, deep blue, navy blue, rogel blue, bottle green, emerald green, grass green, jade green, lime green, olive green, blood red, brick red, cherry red, dusky red, a little white, off white, snow white, and canary yellow. Okay. Is there any question regarding to this vocabulary, guys? Or not at all? Any questions so far? So far, so good. No, teacher. No questions. No questions. Uh, all right. So let's see. Uh, Nidia, help me with uh, in this part, light blue till sky blue. Okay. Um, la diferencia no hay. Se puede decir de las tres. 
baby, baby blue? Yes, I uh, just try to pronunciate them. Oh, okay. Um, baby blue? Sky blue? No, from, from, blue. from this part, starting from here. All of them, todas. Like blue and all of them. So, hasta aquí, sky blue. Ah, de aquí es el, okay. Okay, cold black, mm -hmm. jet black, beach black, baby blue, sky blue. Very good. Now, uh, let me see, Carla Flores. Since sky blue till this one right here. Carla. Hola. Can you listen to us? Hola. Uh, can you listen? <laughs> no, I think that she cannot listen to us. Okay, so Catherine, you there? Sky blue, deep blue, navy blue, royal blue, bottle green, emerald green. Excellent, very good. Karen Rivas, go ahead. Grass green, jet Hola. green, light green, olive green, blue red. Very good. Let me see. Uh, Juan Fernando, go ahead. Uh, which ones? From olive green till dusky. Okay, olive green, blue red, um, bridge red, cherry red, um, dusty red. Very good. Uh, okay. Okay, thank you. Maricela, help me from dusky red till the last one. Dusky red, lily white, off white, snow white, canary yellow. Canary yellow. Okay, very good. So guys, with this part, we finished the part of the colors and we have to go with the practice. As I told you guys, si a mí se me olvida after the class, try to remind me, teacher, por favor, la presentación, vea, so I can send it to you. So please, you already know what to do. Take screenshots, take photos or something so you can have that and everyone can practice. Because this is a conversation, guys, and as I said, I want everyone to participate, yes, and try to speak, ¿sí? No importa que usted lo diga un poco lento y que los demás compañeros le ayuden a la pronunciación también, it doesn't matter. So as long as you speak in English, that's the purpose of it, ¿sí? Ese es el propósito, to make you speak, hacer lo que hable, Quiera o no quiera, ¿verdad? So, to practice. So, are we done with the first one? Yes. Okay. So, this is the first yes. conversation. Yes. This is conversation number two. Okay, and just in case, just in case that we have still more time, we are going to try to work on exercise, on this exercise. So this one is really easy, okay? Only if we still have time. Are we done? Yes. And this one. Ready, teacher. Okay, cool. Oh, I was going to say, uh, I was going to try to say the pronunciation of the conversation just for, just in case someone does not know how to pronounce any word. Example, and this one, 
Number one, it says, my mom's here. That's not your mom. Yes, it is. But she's white and you're black, so she cannot be your mom. Missy says, you can't be my mom because you're white and I'm black. We do have different skin colors, don't we? Shanna's dad has dark brown skin and I have white skin. When we had Shanna, she was born with beautiful brown skin. I didn't know a white mom could have a brown baby. Yeah, they sure can. Some families have many different skin colors. Missy, your skin is a beautiful light brown color too. What color skin do your parents have? We're black. Both my parents had white skin. It's pretty cool that there are so many different skin colors in the world and even in our own family. Okay, so I think that nos vamos a llevar bastante tiempo just in the first one. So, what we are going to do, guys, ustedes deciden, dos por dos, ¿sí? ¿sí? Habemos 14, we are going to have, let me see, seven and seven. Now, you know what? Lo vamos a hacer en parejas, okay? So, let's go. Try to join your groups. I will be checking the two of you. Black. Sigue la otra o no? Sí. Sigo yo. Okay. We do have we do have different skin color, don't we? Shana that has dark brown skin and I have white skin. When we had Shana she was born with 
Um, baby. ¿Qué pasa? They should. ¿Vas a ver qué pasa? They, no, they sure can. Some families have many different skin colors. Missy, your skin is a beautiful light. Brown color too. What color skin do your parents have? We're black. But my parents have white skin. It's pretty cool that there are so many different skin color in the world. And even in our own family. Si vamos a... ¿Cómo? Ahora o la otra, la siguiente. O oh, no iba a ser yo, Missy. Sí, ¿verdad? Ajá, o sea, no cambiamos. Uh -huh. Chivo, yo soy Shana hoy. Sí, ¿crees? My mom's hair. Is for Tommy homework. Is this is for Tommy homework. Sure. What color is rose in flag? It's white, blue, and red. Okay, right. What? Right. What color is the sun African flag? It's red, wild, white, yellow, green, blue, and black. Okay. Uh, what what color is is the equat, equatorial flag? Equatorial. Uh -huh, equatorial. Red, blue, and yellow. Is that it? No, just ten more questions. What is the meaning, honey? I had to work tomorrow. Good night. Okay. Si okay. Quiere ahora, yo, Excellent. I was going to say that. Mm -hmm. To change. Yeah. Hi, teacher. I can understand. Oh. Que ya yo les iba a decir que cambiaran. What you were going to say, lo que tú ibas a decir. Ah, ok. <laughs> Bye. Ah, pues ahora yo inicio y después usted me sigue. Ok, ok. Honey, honey, ¿quién ha... Ahora cambiamos. Okay. okay. Uh, la última es midnight, por si. Okay, midnight. Honey, uh, can I ask you a couple of questions? It's for Tommy's homework. Sure. What color is the Russian flag? It's white, blue, and red. Right. What color is the South African flag? It's red, white, yellow, green, blue, and black. And yellow, it's is that it? Is that it? No, just 10 more questions. What is midnight? No, midnight. Midnight, midnight honey. I, ha I have to work tomorrow. Good night. I have night. tomorrow. Good night. Okay. Así sería, ¿verdad? Sí. Vale. Esa sería la, la segunda. Ahora vamos con. Quiero ver. Voy a avanzar. Está bien. 
eh, eh, pero parece que era como de cruzar las líneas, ¿verdad? De, de, de eh, sí, de, col sí de, de colocar los colores correctos. Permítame. Ah. Bueno, ahí, ahí después lo voy a explicar bien. Está bien. Red, sí. blue, and yellow. Is that it? No. Full. Ten more questions. What? It's midnight. Honey, I have to work tomorrow. Good night. Ahí quedamos, ¿verdad? Sí, esa, la G, es como que si usted haga este sonido. Gu, gu. Gu. No, no. no. Como, que, como que ya haga. Gu, gu. Entonces, <risa> va a decir flag, flag. Flag, flag. Cabal, esa, esa, cabal. Flag. Voy, a, voy a enrollar más la lengua. Flag. No, ese es con la garganta, lo tiene que hacer con la flag. garganta. Flag. Como que esté forzando. Ajá, flag, como que como hace que le, como, gárgaras, como le llamamos, gárgaras. Correcto, correcto. Como que se está torsonando, se le iba a decir. Flag. Flag. No a practicar mucho. Pero ya a ver, lo va a lograr. Yo sé que lo vamos a lograr todo. Ok, y ahora vamos a, a contestar lo demás, ¿dónde están los lapicitos? Yo creo que, bueno, nos quedan tres minutos. Creo que podemos. Ahí. Este, no, pero de todas maneras pongámoslo en el cuaderno, green. Sí, eso hagamos. Green, el, la uno es green. De ahí dice la otra, what color what are... Color are they? De, red, ¿verdad que son rojas? Sí. Red. De ahí dice, what color is... What color this? is... Sería yellow, ¿verdad? It is yellow. De ahí dice that color is it. It is pink. pink. De ahí dice what color 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 are they? Blue. Son, cel son celestes, son verdes. ¿Qué color son? Yo lo veo ahí. Celeste parece que sí. ¿Verdad que sí? Ajá. Sería baby, baby blue, así era, ¿verdad? Oh, sí, ajá. Baby blue, pongamos. Baby blue. All right, guys. So, um, how was the practice? How do you feel? Do you consider that that was a, a good practice for you? Yes. All right. So, I, I, well, I think that probably you were not able to complete all the exercises, the other ones, because of the time. I mean, one hour is not enough. But what was really important for me, it was that you practice your speaking. Then the exercises, they are going to be just for you to practice. See, ahora no van a ser 
ni tarea, they are going to be only for you to practice, okay? And what was more important for me is that you speak English. I just want to say thank you for some of you that I checked. Vi que algunos estaban ayudando a otros. That's very nice of you. As I told you, if you can help someone else, that's very good, okay? So if you know the pronunciation of something and the other person who you're working with does not know how to say any word, it's very nice from your part if you can help him or help her, okay? So tomorrow we are going to also try to make another practice because I need you to practice more, okay? To practice more your speaking or just try to read or something like that, that is going to help you a lot. So thank you so much for everyone. As I said, no homeworks. Those exercises are going to be just for you to practice. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, just for you to practice. So if you want to practice, it's okay. <laughs> if you do not want to practice, that's up to you. Depende de usted. Pero, okay. yes. Eh, la clase del jueves donde está este todo el vocabulario de, de la ropa eh, nos lo podría regalar por favor yeah sure yeah thank you so much for reminding me I will do it that right now so I will send you both last class and this class as well so I will send you the two of them so you can have them so that's the only thing well before you go, do not forget las personas que to aún no han terminado la platform. Try to do it, okay? Mañana we have calibration. We have calibration, so if you have it, haven't finished yet, that might affect you. Sí, puedes, puede afectarles sure. un poco, yes? Teacher, I have a question. Uh, el siguiente módulo, o sea, la, la continuación, la vamos a empezar hasta que empecemos el siguiente módulo, terminemos estas clases. No. Eh, cinco para seguir en, eh, en la plataforma. Oh, I don't understand. No entiendo. Ya terminé, eh, ya terminé el, el módulo uno. Ajá. Este, si quisiera seguir trabajando en el progreso, tengo que esperar hasta que terminemos las prácticas acá. Yes. Till we okay. finish this module and hasta que les, les digan de cuándo empezarían el dos. Hasta entonces se les activa la plataforma para el inicio del 2. Ah, ok. Yes, tell me. Este, vaya, yo, bueno, nunca he estado en una clase así como estamos ahora y la verdad es que yo desconocí de la plataforma y este fin de semana empecé a trabajarla. Entonces, mañana está hasta la, hasta la sección 4 y la prueba. Entonces, uh -huh. no sé hasta qué horas porque yo... Podría eh, terminarla quizás como a las cinco y media que vengo de trabajo. De I mean, trabajo. Eh, como les digo, eso eh, se ponen fechas específicas para hacer calibración, pero en realidad lo que se pide es que un día o dos días antes de terminar el módulo, es decir, el jueves, sería la fecha final para que tú puedas entregar las cinco secciones. Sí, ¿Sí? ok para que no tengas ningún problema para ir al módulo número dos. Así que tienes este tiempo todavía, que es el único ya, eh, que tienes hasta el día jueves. Ok. Uh -huh. Gracias, Solo que bien. para los demás, sí, ¿verdad? Los que ya avanzaron y la calibración el día de mañana, pues no hay ningún problema. Pero por los demás, eh, I understand, entiendo that some of you are working, some of you... Um, the second module is going to be next year. I really do know, realmente no sé Juan Fernando, but probably it's going to be next year. Probablemente sea el próximo año because, or puede ser en diciembre, los primeros días de diciembre, hasta por ahí por el 20, something like that. So probablemente lo tengan este año o al inicio del próximo. Okay. So, um, teacher, I have a question. Yes. Uh, for the other uh, level, mm -hmm. uh, my I need to send a new document. 
and so forth. Yes, for para el próximo eh, nivel, lo único que les van a pedir es eh, firmar unos documentos. Únicamente se necesita su firma y que se envíe. Ya como la documentación se tiene, solo se envía su firma y les avisan la fecha del inicio del módulo. Uh -huh. okay. este, una pregunta también. Yes. Yo escuché acerca de unas becas. Uh -huh. No sé, este, con respecto a eso, ¿cómo se puede hacer? O, In o that se... case, en ese caso, sí tienen que hablar directamente con la persona que los contactó la primera vez para ver si pueden aplicar a, a las becas. Eh, las personas que elaboran y cotizan IS, eh, todos, o sea, en realidad todos pueden aplicar a las becas y ellos les explican el proceso que se sigue y todo lo que se debe hacer para las becas. Because I have no idea. Sí, no tengo mucha idea de lo que en realidad. No va a ser que les dé información errónea. Mm -hmm. Sí, así que, so, um, we have the last classes. Ya tenemos las últimas clases. Eh, honestamente, no sé si el módulo lo van a tener conmigo o va a ser con alguien más, but, I mean, It's always a pleasure for me to help you out, okay? So that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for attending to the class. See you tomorrow at the same time by the same channel. Y Omar hasta ahora, ¿verdad? Se deja ver ahí en la... En la... Sería, mucho, sería mucho pedir, teacher, si mm -hmm. para practicar, este, poner la plataforma desde la primera, la, perdón, las clases desde la sección 1. Porque no ah. están todas. Las primeras no, no, las, no se subían ahí. Oh. Ah, oh, oh, do you mean the, the presentations, las presentaciones? Sí, las presentaciones. Oh, if you want, I will send it to you directly, ¿ok? Directamente. So, um, I will send it to you directly. Porque este, si ustedes la necesitan, las pueden pedir directamente, ¿sí? Porque creo que algunos de ustedes quizás ni las leen, ¿verdad? I, I'm not sure. Yo sí las quiero practicar. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so I will send it to you uh, directly, okay? So thank you so much, guys, for attending to the class today. See you tomorrow and have a good night, okay? Good night, everyone. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.